So I'm watching He-Man the Mouse Universe from 2002 and I think one of the problems with that show, the reason why it didn't really work and didn't work with kids is that not only was it far too adult and far too action orientated and really not much fun because it's very serious issues and serious drama and action and they're trying too hard. It's like they're embarrassed by the original show being fun and light and, and you know, a kid's cartoon on, you know, on most levels. They tried too hard to be different. And... Um, Particularly the second season, which was only 13 episodes, it was all one story, just, you know, just episode to episode to episode. If you missed an episode, you would not have any idea what's happening. And I didn't have any any idea what was happening with the show. Um, I knew it was about the Snake Men. I saw a couple of episodes of King Hiss, and that's it. I had no idea how involved he was. I had no idea Hordak was even in the series. I'm looking at Hordak right now, and on... I mean, I'd heard he was going to be in the third season with Shearer, but that didn't happen. And I've seen Hordak pop up in, I think, three episodes now, and now we're having a flashback showing Hordak's origins with um, King Grayskull and Castle Grayskull and all that. I didn't know any of that was even in the series, because I missed that episode. And that's the problem with that, that series. You, you, you couldn't miss an episode, particularly in the last part of it. And although that may go well for some fans who are serious about it, but if you're just a casual viewer or a kid, you're not going to be able to keep up, it's not going to make any sense, and I think that's part of the reason that, you know, the show didn't do so well, and why the toys didn't do so well, because, you know, the show the show has to sell the toys, and if people aren't, kids aren't engaging in the show, they can't follow the show, they're not going to be excited about um, the toys and having to have the toys. And the toys, as well, were also far too complicated, they looked like sculpture, they had, I mean, my god, the, the, the battle armour that they've made in, in the later seasons, later episodes of the second season, was so over the top, so overcomplicated, and the toys were just, just p chunky pieces, chunky pieces on top of chunky pieces, and you couldn't, it, it was just, you couldn't play with them. Um, you could maybe, like, sit them to look at. They were really made for adult collectors, not really for kids. So I can see, it's sort of been a bit of a mystery why the show didn't do so well, because I saw a few episodes on TV on Saturday morning, um, had a few of them on video, and I thought it was good, and I, and I didn't understand why it didn't do better, why it didn't get a third season, and now as I'm watching the whole two seasons, and I'm towards the end of the second season now, about three episodes, four episodes from the end, um, or maybe six episodes from the end, five episodes, something like that, um, I can see why, you know, it didn't last, and some of the problems, they really were just adult fans making the show for other adult fans, and really it's not fun like the original show i was watching it the other day i just wanted to go and live in eternia i just wanted i loved the show so much whereas this i'm looking at it like i don't want to go it's just war and battle and darkness and people being turned into snakes and zombies and just um yeah not fun <laughs> I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I was going to do a proper review of the series, but I, I, I think this is just going to be it. Because, um, yeah, I just sort of wanted to give my opinion. I'm curious what other people think. Do other people like that show as much as I thought they did? I kind of thought people, there were a lot of people who thought it was better than the original He-Man because it had all the continuity and the backstories and the origins and all that. It wasn't just sort of episode of the... I was going to say episode of the episode of the week, but you know the show was daily. But you know what I mean, where you can just go on an individual adventure. You don't need to know um, everything about everyone and what happened last week or what's going to happen next week to actually follow it. Um, and really, the only fault with the original show was that um, they sort of. Um, I'm not even going. Not even going to go into the original show, but um, you know it wasn't perfect. But um, they did a much better job, I think, of just creating just fun episodes where you could just tune in and you didn't need to sort of know everything about all the characters. Probably they did spend a little bit too much time on individual characters who just popped up for one episode rather than using the established characters because at some point they wanted to get away from um, Skeletor and using him every week and not using the actual toys and the characters that were established and just using unique sort of one-off characters sort of did more for the creativity and credibility and the storytelling of the show, but, you know, wasn't quite as fun for the one that's collecting the toys and that. So not everything's perfect, but um, I can see where this show went wrong now. 
and I can see where the toy line went wrong now. I was sort of perusing the, you know, the toys of He-Man, the Master Universe, and having a close look at them and realizing how many repaints there were in just like two years and so forth. And yeah, I'm gonna go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Did I already say that? I don't know. Bye.